What's up guys and welcome to another edition of Franco's Feast. I'm at the Queen's Bar and Grill in Bury St Edmunds to take on the Big Eats Holy Cow. So Ben, thank you very much for allowing me to come down and obviously film for Franco's Feast and at the same time do your challenge. So tell me a bit more about the venue. Obviously you're the owner. Yep. Uh, looking on your website, I understand you have a small holding full of animals. Tell me a bit more about the venue and obviously the operation. Uh, so it's bar and grill. So a lot of the food is basic, sort of like burgers, ribs, um, but we are smokehouse. Yeah. So all of our meats we smoke ourselves. Um, we've got a small farm, which is mainly lamb and pork. Um, we do like other bits and bobs occasionally, like we grow some of our own fruit and veg, um, but we try and bring in meat for specials and use it wherever we can. So yeah, I mean other than that we work with local suppliers, everything's homemade, so we make all our own bread. So like burger bun challenges, everything we do is, is all made in-house with the sauces and everything. That sounds really fantastic. And obviously you've got three challenges. Can you tell me a bit more about the challenge I'm taking yeah, on yeah. tonight? Yeah, so three challenges. First one is the holy cow. Uh, so we've got a t-shirt made for each one. Uh, the Holy Cow is our tall burger, so mm. it's 12 patties, 12 slices of cheese, 6 bacon, homemade bun, sauce and loaded brisket fries. So that's the one you're doing today. Well Ben, thank you very much and I look forward to the challenge. Thank you once again. No worries mate. It looks and smells amazing. Good luck mate. Thank you very much. Alright, so the challenge comprises of 12 3 ounce beef patties, milk and cheese and bacon, queen sauce and gherkins in a homemade amazing brioche bun with onion rings or five onion rings that should be, and a generous helping of barbecue brisket loaded fries with cream sauce and chopped gherkins. I can't wait, I'm really looking forward to it. So I think I'm gonna take the onion rings off and then just delve straight into the patties and see how I manage to get them and then take on the loaded fries and then leave the, um, the onion rings until last. Let's see if I actually stick to that strategy. Three, two, one, go. So this was a challenge I was really looking forward to. I'd heard from Max and Stefan, links to their videos of them doing this challenge in the description below, um, how, just how good the food was. So I really couldn't wait just to try it out and obviously see how I get on. The burger definitely did, didn't disappoint. And as Ben said on uh, the initial part of the video, them having a small holding, farm to fork, makes all the difference. It really is so fresh and so tasty. As I've got more into these challenges, I've, I've found that I actually enjoy doing burger challenges and managed to take them down quite quickly. I think I still somehow struggle with fries. And even though you can see how quickly I get through this, the, the fries just take me so long. It's definitely a, a strategy and a tactic I need to work on, like uh, getting uh, through the fries a lot more quickly. Walking into the Queen's Bar and Grill, everyone made me feel so welcome. It really is such a lovely venue. If ever you're in the country or you're ever visiting Bury St Edmunds, do stop by and say hello and definitely say Franco sent you. But as Ben mentions at the start of the video, they've got two other challenges. Do check out their website and see if I should take them on.
So you might have seen from my other burger videos, I have a technique of spinning the burgers. That's from, to allow me to take smaller bites rather than just eating it like a conventional burger. It seems to work for me. Um, as you can see, I'm managing to get through the burger quite quickly. And I've got the fries upcoming. Let's see what time I can do it in. So what you guys and girls don't see is some of the staff for keeping tabs on me um, and cheering me on in the background as well as um, they want to see how I got on given how uh, they, there's been quite a few failures on this challenge recently. So I think this is probably one of the most uh, popular challenges at uh, Queen's Bar and Grill. I think when I got there, I was told that there were further four individuals that were taking this on. I think from what I've seen on the stories of Queen's Bar and Grill, that they all failed the challenge. So it isn't as easy as, as you might think, but um, yeah, go and give it a go if you're in the local area. Here I am delving into the loaded fries. Oh, they were just so good. I think the fact that everything is just so fresh and so tasty makes this a really good challenge. I'm glad we've uh, sped up quite a bit of the fry meat in the fries as uh, it gets quite boring and it takes me quite a while to get through them. So I can definitely sense victory in my sights. I've only got a few of the fries left, the onion rings. Let's see what time I can take it down in. But even the onion rings, they were so crispy and so light and some of the best onion rings I've had in a while. So there's very little left on my plate. I can definitely sense victory. All this tasty food uh, going down quite nicely.
Once again, making sure that I don't leave any doubt, making sure that plate is nice and clean as well. So I've got 21 minutes and 17 seconds. Thank you to all the staff at the Queen's Bar and Grill. Amazing challenge. Thank you so much for having me. So here's to another successfully completed challenge. Please like, follow and subscribe and please turn on notifications on YouTube for more food adventures. So completing the challenge was really happy uh, with how I got through this. Once again, I think I need to work on getting through the fries, but the team at Queen's Bar and Grill were amazing. The food was outstanding. Definitely, as I've said before, do pop down there and give the food a go if you're in the local area.